What's up, what's up, what's up? I'm Michael, I'm gonna guide you through this video review of Medal of Honor Warfighter. This new first person shooter everyone's talking about. No, not everyone's talking about. And I only mean new in a sense that this game only came out recently because mostly everything here is recycled from something else. Not just that, almost every facet of the game is poorly made or just flat as hell. So without further ado, we've all seen these stories told by these games and Warfighter is the same shit. There are brown people to kill and terrorists and stuff. That's basically what this synopsis should say. Terrorists and stuff also included indistinguishable white bearded men. It's told in a supremely shoddy way and you can't muster any spirit to care about it. It's so poorly told with such flat subject matter. They try to throw in an emotional anchor in the form of family, but that comes off as a sloppy attempt at emotion. Not only are they horribly disfigured, but the corny dialogue and haphazard presentation doesn't give any reason to care. They shove in your face, hey, you should care about this because yo, families and stuff and war, man, it sucks. But they don't actually take the time to characterize his family. If they want to pull at my heartstrings, you gotta earn it and not just seek it. You gotta kinda dig into their character and make me care about them, something this game has no effing idea how to do. When you play the actual game, you will be similarly appalled. It just isn't finished. After a hefty day one patch and holding the game back for reviewers, bugs pop up everywhere in all sorts of ways. Guns will just float in midair, bodies just disappear for no reason, scripting will just break, which is extremely frustrating, and other oddities will just happen. However, the AI is similarly brain dead, so they could just be functioning normally. They fail to kill any sort of enemies, they just stand behind cover doing nothing, except they'll get in your way and complain when you shoot them in the ass, and always fire stupidly at nothing. For example, there was there was one guy left, I could not find him because the game was so dark, and they literally were firing for like 10 minutes at nothing. It just feels unfinished and rushed, to probably, let's be honest, be Call of Duty out the door. Actually shooting is competent, but not even that as tight as it should be. You literally cannot drop the weapon you start out with. Picking up another weapon from an enemy means it's just a throwaway, meaning you'll just toss it when you're done, sometimes with the inability to pick it back up because it'll glitch through something or just outright disappear. This is easily the most controlling weapon system that has ever been created and becomes such a stupid decision the more you play it. Well, honestly, that won't be for that long because the game's only about five hours, which is a little bit shorter than the average of these games, so take from that what you will. I want it to be over, so maybe the five hours is a blessing. If it isn't outright bad, it's just boring or uninspired. You've seen everything this game has to offer, but done exponentially better and better, fresher games. Sniping, car chases, on rails, and stuff, and it's just extremely worn out at this point. Especially breaches. ESPECIALLY breaches. You do them so many times, and the game actually asks you for a different animation for the same thing. It's almost as if Danger Close knows how many times you do it, so I can't imagine why they left it in there and made you do it so many times. Not only is it derivative as hell from other games, it starts becoming derivative and boring from itself. The multiplayer is, however, some sort of a decent distraction. It's got all the familiar modes and leveling that we've all seen, but at least it isn't broken or busted. It's probably not going to be more than a distraction because it isn't as tight as probably your favorite multiplayer game, but given the rest of the game, it's at least something halfway positive to say about it. I did kind of enjoy my time with the multiplayer and it, it does look pretty cool, but I can't see it, it being more than just that, a distraction. However, the game consistently does look great though. They've scrapped the Unreal Engine from the last game, which had terrible pop-in and just kind of looked shitty in general, in favor of DICE's Frostbite Engine 2. It gives the game a phenomenally better look. Colors pop more, even the browns, and even the lighting really sells how good the game looks and performs. That's about the most consistently good thing I can say about Medal of Honor, Warfighter. I don't know why this title exists. This genre is so tired and so worn, so it could have been doomed from the start, but if it was at least made well or average or polished, it would probably stick out more. It couldn't even do that. So not only is it forgettable, it's a poorly made forgettable experience. Dishonorable discharge for this one. I gave this game a 5 out of 10, and I cut, you know, 
is probably being nice, but I really don't think people should play this game. You've played this game a million times. There's no creative freedom really with this stuff anymore. It's been done. I think Modern Warfare 3 was the epitome of this kind of stuff, and even that was a surprise to me, so... Yeah, I wouldn't pick this game up. Just go pick something else up. There's a lot of stuff out this fall, and a lot of stuff you should be playing. So thank you for watching, and the full text is on the site, giving more detail about my review. So thanks, guys, and bye. Mr. Train. Lena? Mr. Train. Daddy? Daddy? Uh. 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 Daddy?